So Donald Trump's kids, Eric, Ivanka, Don Jr., are all still grifting the American taxpayer out of hundreds of thousands of dollars each and every month, even though daddy isn't president anymore. In Trump's final hours in office, right before he left the office to Joe Biden, he extended the amount of Secret Service protection that his kids get. Now, this isn't for any particular reason. There didn't seem to be any verifiable threat. This is unusual, but he gave Eric and Don Jr. and Ivanka and their families extra protection. But it's costing the taxpayer upwards of $140,000 each and every month, meaning that this is going to end up costing about a million dollars to offer this extra protection that wasn't really necessary. Eric and Ivanka and Don Jr. didn't need it. They weren't really entitled to it under historical precedent, but because they're daddy's kids and Donald Trump doesn't respect the hardworking class people that make American society work and pay the taxes and he doesn't pay his own taxes, let alone, you know, contribute to society. He just lets his own kids bilk the people out of a million dollars. And as this report notes, I don't need to go into the nitty gritty of it, but it says that this might not even be the full extent of the cost. So it might end up being quite a bit more than $1 million. And of course, this isn't some necessary protection. It's not just them at their one home. These people travel all over. They have multiple properties. They go to hotels all over the US and in other places as well. And so all of this is based on travel and hotels and basically protecting the Trump kids while they live luxurious lifestyles while the working and middle class people struggle to get by. And don't forget, that this is the same family that showed fundamental disrespect to the Secret Service when they were entitled to protection. I covered it at the time, but after Trump lost, the story came out that Ivanka and Jared would not let Secret Service agents pee and use the bathroom at their mansion in Washington, that they had a giant house with like a half dozen bathrooms and they wouldn't even let the people that protect their lives, that would give their life for them if it came down to it, the right to use the bathroom. At the time, the report said they had to drive like half an hour to go to Obama's house or Mike Pence's house. And eventually what ended up happening was they had to rent an apartment nearby at like 3k a month to let to give them a bathroom they had to rent an apartment and so that move alone was costing the taxpayers dozens of thousands of dollars a year and i don't even know if jared and ivanka still make them rent a separate apartment to go pee when they're in florida or wherever they are i'm not sure but the point is this is a family that made grifting the american people the central objective of the Trump administration. We talked about it last week, week before, where Don Jr. and, 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 and Trump, Don Sr. and the whole family used the first inauguration back in 2017 as an excuse to bill, to overbill the people for Trump hotels and Trump conference space and Trump ballrooms and all those sorts of things. So there's one reason above all that Trump wants to be president again. Yeah, sure, it's ego, but he knows that as long as he's in the White House, Daddy and all the little kids, they can rip you off every single day and be cheered on by their MAGA base.